title of the event, shifting the paradigm to net zero, is 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 what we're is what we're all in the midst of, right? And that's what we're trying to do with the race to zero. This is not disruption as normal. This is not some kind of tinkering and incremental where we get. That's what we want to do with the the race to zero is send a signal to the world's policymakers that the private sector and local government are on board and driving the transformation. And yes. They need policymakers to play their role in setting the right framework, but they're not sitting around waiting for policymakers to fix it. They're on the road to innovation. So, what that actually means is that we are now putting sustainability at the heart of the decision making of the company, and I think it was an absolutely critical step that we had to go through, and that really it was all the tools were in place. So we just had now to make it happen. I think innovation is a key ingredient to to addressing the the gaps we have in in the, the problem we we face, but we also have a demand problem, and the demand problem is going to be underlying in the context of how people understand the role they play. Um, but I do think that now, you know, you have especially architects and engineers are very interested in sustainable solutions. But it takes our customers, you know, really being engaged and understanding that these products, you know, like Joe mentioned, they're making concretes that they've never made before. What we do see with buildings that actually can create energy. Uh, uh, energy plus houses, the, the achievements and the way that that technology is now ramping up is amazing. The owners, developers and rest of the construction community could make an informed decision based on accurate and complete information to make the best decision as to performance, as to placement and most importantly, sustainability, because this is all about people and our future and our children and grandchildren. So uh, we, we welcome that with open arms. First and foremost, that countries have some sort of urban vision that embraces sustainability, because then cities that are willing to go beyond a current codes or current levels of ambition can be actually act more quickly than national government. So it's a really great enabler when countries have a, have a great urban vision. I believe we, are, we have the right uh, actors who want to contribute. We are going through something that it's almost a historical moment. That's how I take it. Things are happening, they're happening now, and everyone is motivated, and all the indicators are there to make it happen. So it would be absolutely criminal to miss that opportunity. So we are all in it together, and we need to all make it happen. This is just the beginning.